Welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Where we left off, we once again got snubbed about our uh, had about passage into Morrowind, but we'll find that out. This chick just randomly told us about Rife Lithandus. What's that all about? Rife Lithandus is one of the greatest painters in all Cyrodiil. Sadly, he's gone missing. His wife, Tivola, is beside herself with grief. I love this quest. I love this quest! Blasted thief. I hope they string him up where they can catch him. He's a slippery one, though. Oh, I'll become him soon enough, don't, don't you worry. Did you know you have the finest horses in Cyrodiil? Right here in town? Black Waterside Stables. Ooh. The best thoroughbred blacks. Hey, careful what you say there. You too. Lol. I think I turned it down just a little too much, but just a hair. Actually, maybe I can turn this up. Why are you fucking watching me? Why is this creepo watching me? Bruh, let me steal from you. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess I can't just walk in here and steal like it's, uh, like it's Morrowind. But we can make potions. Alright, let's make potions. Dwarf tea. Ooh, these both restore health. Oh, no, no, no. So this and human heart restores health. But... Carrot and corn. I know though, these, these, most of these are just for fatigue. Why does this level up so much faster than, uh... Restoration does? It's so, it's so ridiculous. Restoration is so broken. I feel like I I thought the brightness just a little bit. There you go. You know the Fighters Guild is right here, but I'm interested in that what that lady just told me. There's Ray. Oh, you know, I completely got sidetracked, but one of my goals was to uh, level up Restoration by going to Frostcrag Spire and creating a custom spell. We'll do that later, though. This is more, uh, this is more interesting. Ooh. Ooh, a piece of candy. My character canonically has ADHD, by the way. That's why, uh, that's what I'm justifying by uh, just doing random things and not really... <laughs> Focusing on anything. Uh, as their name suggests, the Dark Brotherhood has a history shrouded in the obfuscation. Their ways are se secret to those who are not themselves brothers. Alright, okay, so brother is a generic term. The females are called brothers as well. Uh, they're mysterious. They sprang from the mo Wait. That is true. This is true. The Dark Brotherhood did sprung... They did were sprung from the religious order called the Morag Tong in Morrowind. Or, the Morag Tong weren't specifically in Morrowind, but they are at the same time. They are essentially worshippers of the, the Daedric Spiric Mafala, the Daedric Prince, which makes sense. And, um, yeah, they, grew, they rose to power in their early days. But then the, the rise of the Night Mother. This is kind of new information from Morrowind, but I guess it's kind of like a retcon. Uh, all leaders of the Morag Tong, and then afterward the Dark Brotherhood have been called the Night Mother. Yeah, what this book is kind of missing is that the Morag Tong were like an official, like, force. Like, they were like al almost like an arm of the government. And the Dark Brotherhood thought that there it was getting away from the worship of Mafala. 
I think. Or no, 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 it was the other way around. The people that didn't actually want to worship Mithala anymore anymore left the Dark Brotherhood. And so it was like a it was like a kind of like a revolt. And then the, like the Night Mother wasn't an actual thing back then. It was just like what they the, the, they called the leaders of the Dark Brotherhood. But now like this real Night Mother who uh has has risen to power and now the Dark Brotherhood is like more important. The original Night Mother developed an important doctrine of the Morag Tong, the belief that while Mafala does grow stronger with every murder committed in her name, certain murders were better than others. Murders that came from hate pleased Mafala more than murders committed because of greed. Murders of great men and women pleased Mafala more than murders of relative unknowns. We can approximate the time this belief was adopted with the first known murder, murder Morda, committed by the Morag Tong. In the year 324 of the Second Era, the potentate Versidu Shaye was murdered in his palace in what is today considered the Elsewhere Kingdom of Seneschal. In a brash move, the Night Mother announced that the identity of the murderers by painting Morag Tong on the walls in the potentate's own blood. Huh. So prefer that the Morag Tong exist in relative peace, kind of like a witch's coven. Occasionally pursued, persecuted, but usually ignored. Uh, when the arena was a fractured land, the Morag Tong was outlawed. Okay. Yeah, throughout the continent except for Morrowind. This, they're missing that. Every sovereign gave the cult's elimination his highest priority. Nothing more was officially heard from them for a hundred years. This is kind of weird. Because, yeah, this is definitely like a retcon. Because, um... It's saying that the Morag Tong re-emerged as the Dark Brotherhood. But that's not really true, because at this point in time, the Morag Tong exists separately in Morrowind. And in Oblivion, or in Cyrodiil, they, they're just, they just don't because they were persecuted and replaced by the Dark Brotherhood. With the help of the Night Mother. It, it makes me think, like, do the people that wrote this even play Morrowind? <laughs> but then again, it's like, did the people that wrote Skyrim even play Oblivion? Like, so I don't know. Um, this is all kind of interesting, but it's just essentially the history of the Dark Brotherhood. The Clovian dynasty crumbled. Temper Emperor Tiber Septum. Okay. So they, during this interregnum, what, so what interregnum? Uh, the 400 years until the advent of the warrior Emperor Tiber Septum. Okay. So this is, they essentially retconned this from, from Oblivion. Can I steal from your shit? They actually definitely are a little too loud still. This girl let, her, let, them, let me steal from her. Let's, let's try on our fashion. Lame. That's kind of dope. That's kind of dope, too. We don't need it, though. What about this collar shirt? Nah. Buckled shoes? That's what we were just wearing. This is kind of cool. But this is a pantsless run, so it's either, it's between these two shoes. One, two, buckle my shoe. What do which ones look more comfortable? I'm thinking these ones. Nah, you know I think the original ones we were wearing are perfect. Those are athletic enough for what for our kind of activities. Ooh, stitched leather shoes. Wait a second. Hey, that fits perfectly. These are both nice. 
We'll keep both of them. Hopefully we don't go to jail anytime soon. Ooh! Wine! Well, we, we, we missed a, uh, a radish. Break your, all your plates. Um, help, step bro. Okay. You can see me? No, she's, we're good, we're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, the turpentine is something that we need for the quest, right? Oh, hello. Oh, my. Oh, uh, we, we didn't grab it yet, but I, th I think she, I thought she gave us she gives us that. Oh, there's a paint palette. Wait, the real history of Baron Zaya. Oh, it's part four. And five. And not part one and two. The meme is I'm stuck step bro. It doesn't make sense if you say I'm stuck step stepsis unless stepsis has a fucking strap on like <laughs> I'm stuck strap stepsis. What do you do with that strap on? <laughs> That's disgusting. It probably exists. Uh <laughs> That probably exists. Maybe she's gonna go for a reach around while you're stuck. Yeah, I guess, but it still makes more. It still makes a lot less sense. If anything, steps. This is the one that's stuck. Oh, in Morrowind, both worshippers and sorcerers summon lesser Daedra and bound Daedra as servants and instruments. So you can summon Daedric servants for brief periods, typically, but sometimes you can summon them for a long time. You can. To do use certain packs to 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 bind them to this world, lesser entities bound by danger lords into weapons and armor may be summoned for brief periods. Okay, yeah, so yeah, they have to be bound to like armor in some cases. The Tribunal Temple of Morrowind has incorporated the veneration of Daedra as lesser spirits, subservient to the immortal MCV. The Triune Godhead of the Almalexia, Slithisil, and Vivek. Yeah, they're the Good Daedra and the Bad Daedra. The Good Daedra have submitted submitted to the authority of the of the Almsivi. The Bad Daedra are defy them. Yeah, um, B Boethia, Azura, and Mafala are the Good Daedra, but in reality, Boethia, Azura, and Mafala are the true gods of uh, of Morrowind, and the Almalexia, Slithisil, and um, Vivek are false gods. I mean, depending on your uh, your interpretation, but that's kind of how it really uh, it seems to be. The hunger is a violent, powerful, and violent lesser Daedra associated with Boethia. Yeah, the hunger was pretty cool in uh, in in Morrowind. The Winged Twilight is a messenger of Azura. Feral harpies with feminine aspects. True, true, true. Their tails are ravishing. <laughs> I, I, okay, I, I just kind of read that, but he didn't really say it like that. He said... Oh, no, he did. He did say that. He said that the, the feminine aspects of the Winged Twilights are more ravishing, and their long, sharp, hooked tails are immeasurably more deadly. He didn't say that the tails are uh, ravishing, though. Because <laughs> he's not a furry. <laughs> Spider Daedra, the servants of Mafala. Yes. And, uh, what about... Oh, okay, yeah, so the Golden Saints are servants of Sheogorath. The less associated... The Marin's Dagon is associated with the Scamp. And the Clan Fair and, and uh, the Dramora. True. Uh, but the Daedroth is a servant of Molag Ball. I didn't know that. I Actually, I didn't know this at all. I, like, I... I didn't know that they were each kind of, like, associated specifically with one. 
Yeah, there's the there's the golden saint in this. But there's also the um, dark seducer, which I have yet to experience because I haven't played the DLC yet. And then the, they're just talking about Atronach and um, Daedra Lords. Yeah, okay. That was cool. I have uh, come to a... an appreciation of the lore a lot more. Hello? To a greater appreciation of the lore by just like reading the books. It's pretty fun. Oh, she's she was looking at me. Well, uh, hey, can I get that can paintbrush now? Me? I'm Javella Lathandis. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wright, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Yes, my husband is the Wright Lathandis. Nope. There's no time for idle chatter. Uh, I do want to hear about him. You haven't. That's his but I'll skip. Is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly. That's just a silly notion, of course. Not yes, that silly Mike because he's trapped in the painting. The with the door locked, so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep, but two days ago he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly, and I'm so worried. I'll find him. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wright's studio. You may come and go as you please. If you need me, I'll be around the house. Do hurry. I miss my love so much. You see, uh, our hero, Goblin of Phallus, she might be a little misunderstood. Killing people randomly and getting drunk and ending up in uh, in jail. But at the end of the day, she uh, she also wants to rescue her husband. Do so be careful. So of course she's going to help you out. What can I help you with? They charged me Five gold for littering. Five gold littering. for littering? I barely make that in a year. These fines are ridiculous. Ooh, what fines? Fines, fines, fines. Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the captain of the guard post, this city's gone downhill. The guards have imposed new, ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. How fucking dare they? If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Levana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. Ooh, I knew I just do said that I wanted to help you, but uh, I'm kind of interested in that. Also, where do we get the the paintbrush? Oh no, wait, let's go. Let's go unlock this. Okay. We want a quick save here so we don't accidentally enter the painting. Because we do need the turpentine. Other quest first. Hello. You seem far too nice to be one of Ulrich's men. What can I do for you? Fine. Oh, please, don't even get me started. That madman won't be satisfied until everyone in town is dead broke. Or in jail. What in oblivion is Ulrich doing with all that money anyway? He said the thing, guys. I'm sure he's lining his pockets with the gold of the good citizens of Chadenhall. Take my good friend Aldous Othran, for example. 
Six if, times. Have you ever gone past a guard barracks? When are they not drunk and disorderly? What kind of a stupid fine is that? Well, Aldous couldn't pay the last two fines, so they seized his home and threw him into the street until he could pay it. Bastards. Jesus. What about the Count? The Count? He could care less about our plight. As long as the roast suckling pig is delivered to his feast table, he's as happy as can be. Well, there's one man who seems to care. Garrus Dorelian, the second in command of the guard. I hear he isn't happy with Ulrich. I don't know what you can do for us in this situation. I mean, Ulrich is a captain after all. Perhaps you could speak to Garrus. You can find him roaming the county hall of the castle most of the time. Poor fellow. You may be able to find him roaming the streets of Chadenhall, probably drunk. Only a month ago, he lost his wife. They were traveling the road from the Imperial City when a bandit raiding party struck. He barely escaped alive. Ever since then, he's been drunk. Sure, he gets rowdy sometimes, but he's never hurt anyone. I don't know where the Count found him, but I sure wish he'd send him back. He's a menace to this town. We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. We have no Emperor and no heir. That's never happened before. We'll see. Can I interest you in, uh, in Maya? Oh, wait, joke? Joke bad. Good? I don't know, somewhat good. That's okay. But that's real good. We don't want that. Um. Eh, beh, beh, beh. a wonderful compliment. Great, not great. Great, not great. So, great. Kind of great. It's enough. Please. I doubt it. Great kind of great. You please. I doubt it. Oh, I've kind of messed Get that away up. From me. I doubt it. I can't. Oh, please. I'm embarrassed. But thank you. Really? I can't. I. Ugh. That's foul. I can't argue with. What a wonderful. Con I. Get away from me. Really now. You I. You've got a point. Get away from me. Now she loves me. Garrus may be our only hope. What the fuck is Willowbank? Hmm. Pledge. Join the Fighters Guild? Join the Fighters Guild? If you're interested. See Velena Danton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burz Grokash in Shedinol. I'll I'll actually talk to Burz Grokash. We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. Okay. If you're looking to join up, you should speak with Velena Danton. You'll find her. Ah. Uh -huh. I've settled down here. Be seeing you. Sure, we'll talk to Burz Grokash. Oh, I'll, I love this song. We'll let it play for a second. Cause I do want to read that, uh... Use the dupe glitch, pull an arrow, pull a bow out, pull back an arrow, pause the game, drop the item. So does that still work? I didn't think it was that easy anymore. Let's see. Good afternoon. That didn't work. So there's a, there has to be an, I think there's another dupe glitch that you can use. That one just doesn't work anymore. Click the arrow and drop an item. Hmm. Maybe, but I'll have to look that up. All I know is that that one doesn't work anymore. Hi there. Hello. You're a likely looking prospect. Thinking about the Fighters Guild? I worked the arena in the Imperial City for a while. Got up to Gladiator, then to Capauda. We're all talking about the Emperor. Join the Guild. You won't regret it. Where's the 
Where's birds go crash? He's gonna be here soon. These are, uh, oh, those are not actual items, I believe. Let's wait. My camp's frozen? It is frozen. I actually don't know how to unfreeze it. Uh -oh. We're gonna figure that out. Head on. Where's apply directly to the forehead? Yeah, I might try unplugging it. That's a good idea. But um, I want to find birds go birds grow crash first. Oh, here he is. Mr. Girl Crash. I'm listening. What do you want? A job? If you want it from me, you'll have to join the Fighters Guild. I can cut it. Gonradel can teach you about acrobatics. This guild is going to hell in a hog cart. Look at what they give me. Huh. Useless. I love being in the guild. The Fighters hey, Guild is always looking for new members. While you talk, if you've got I'm going to unplug record, my uh, and don't have a bounty on your cam. head. We may be able to use you. Are you interested in joining? All right. Didn't seem to work, but let's see. I'm interested. Sign me up. Good, I guess. You're now an associate in the Fighters Guild. Nice. Now let's see if I can. But I have to change the brightness again. Hey, welcome back to uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. The unplug and plug method did eventually work. You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station, accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the guild. I suppose I've got something for you. We need a way- Easy. Move your ass, boot. What'd you just call me? Yeah, I know turning it off and back on again is usually the solution. It's just when you're streaming, it's hard to think. Because you need to be thinking about, like, playing the game and trying to be entertaining. And so... If I was in pure diagnostics mode, that'd probably be the first thing I thought of, too. But I was more in, like, the, the mode of, Oh, shit! Let me, uh, just pause it real quick. And finish what I was doing first. So, he wants me to do that, but I want to go to Frostcrag Spire. Well, as it seems that, uh, I, Goblin of Phallus, cannot go to Morrowind and rescue my husband. 
make this an active quest. I must <laughs> content myself with having this gigantic fucking ass tower that's just for free. Just literally for free. Dusty Tome. Uh, Mystic Emporium. Okay. We should have enough gold for this. <laughs> if only that worked with your girl. Yeah, just turn it off and back on again. That's probably not. That's probably the opposite of what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mystic Emporium is over here. Right? It's like. Mm. No, it's not. It, eh, I'm dumb. I think it's over here. Because there's render spells. No, and there's Edgar. The best defense. The Mystic Emporium. Here we go. It's obviously closed. So we're going to have to wait until... I Actually, I don't know. I I'm going to guess 9 a.m., but I think it's actually 10.30. Nope, it's open. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the Mystic... May I interest you in some of Ooh, my Ooh, hands of ways. the Atronach. That looks kind of nice. Heavy armor for the hands. You know what? I'm going to give myself the gold for that. I don't give a shit. But I, I will not give myself the gold for uh, the upgrades. Because that... Take it. That, what do you want? Arlen Way. This better be good. Oh, did I did not want to grab... I did not actually want to bribe her there, but whatever. What's with that? What's that symbol? I've never seen that symbol before. What the hell? I guess there's a new time for everything. So these are good, and these are bad. But that's really the worst. Um. Where'd you get that? Remark. That's just talk. what nonsense. Which one do you like the most? This one. That's great. There. Huh. There. You're there. You're wasting your breath. Oh, there, there, I wish I there. Don't waste your flattery on uh, there, me. there, there, don't there. Really? Interesting. That's that. Don't. Well I love this done. game, honestly. I, I, I really like this mini game, even though it's kind of confusing. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Um. Oh God. Wait. So we just want the alchemy lab. No. Okay. Wait. If I'm not going to give myself gold for this, which I'm not, because I, I want to actually experience this a little bit. Like, I don't want the entire game to just be broken from the start. But I do want to get, like, the... Um... Well, I guess, no, I guess it really doesn't matter, but because it already is going to be broken from the start because I am I have this uh, spellcasting thing. But I just don't know which area it is. Frost, Crag, spell making Altar. So the alchemy lab is I don't is actually I think what I need. Wait, so is it the main room on the first floor? Is it already there? Do I need to unlock anything or no? Holy shit! I didn't even notice that her eyes disappeared when, when you all tab out. Apparently, their eyes disappear. This is a this is cursed. Let's do business. But I need the mage tallow candles box. I let that go too cheaply. Oh wait, I just fucked. I, I yeah, that's. I don't want to buy it for two thousand. Yeah, apparently it can't what? run in the background when you ought to have out. Make it quick. Remarkable. Where'd you get that? That's good. Not now. I like that. Don't wish. Oh, how nice. That's right. Only quality goods. 
So, wait. What? I can't haggle her down? Why not? Haggle doesn't work? So that the petty soul gem is 10 gold. It's still 10 gold. Well. See you later, stutters. Have have luck. Have luck. Have luck at work. I'm wondering why this doesn't work though, the haggling. Take care. It's my What can I interest you in? Have much luck, yes. Have luck. Very wow. Well, in any case, we need the mage tallow, the mage tallow candles. Another. But what, what do we really want? Is seven thousand gold for these gloves? You too. Did she tell you you too? Oh my god, that's kind of creepy, girl. Welcome to. The have a look around. Oh, wait, does haggling not work on him either? That's super odd. That's a good yeah, deal. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just yoink that from him. A pleasure. Let's do business. Heal major wounds is not really... Oh, we don't have the gold for any of this. Goodbye. Nice. All this for two armor. Let's go. Guards are pursuing me. Stop! That's too okay. They did I just lost all my stolen items. I don't know why the guards hated me there, but all right. Yeah, now this is the fashion I was looking for. You know, I, I really like these other boots. One, two, buckle my shoe. Hmm. Just go around without shoes either. Actually. You know, that's probably the play. Name this spell. Train Restoration. And then Train Skelly Boy. Hooray! Now we can power level our restoration in peace. Are you still there, Rural Brewery? Have I lost your attention? <laughs> um, here, where are we going? We're going to Fort Farragut. Where's this tree entrance? That's what I want to know. Ah! 
Ow. Oh, that's the wrong spell. That's the wrong number! do that so now we have um our train restoration spell i don't know where this exit is so whatever we'll just find it the natural way why am i moving so slow Speed is a hundred, isn't it? What the fuck? My speed is not a hundred. My endurance is not a hundred. What the hell? What happened? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. If only I had some restore attribute potions. Good one, Batshine. I was wondering why I was moving so goddamn slow. It didn't save. Even though it, it's weird because it should save. So what's up with that? No, yeah, it definitely should save. Cause, uh, it's saved on my other guys. Oh. Hmm. Want to actually be using a battle axe. Ba a battle axe for a battle axe. Is this the door that was locked? I don't really remember. I'm just looking for this. Alright. And I'm gonna end the YouTube episode here. Because I'm gonna do the thing where I power level. 